In today's video, I'm going to show you five features that you may not have known about SPAN. You already know that it's a spectrum analyzer, and you probably already know that it has built-in metering tools. Here's a few features you may not know about. Number one, if you hit control or command if you're on a Mac and click and drag, you can enter a solo mode where you can listen to certain frequencies only. You can use the scroll wheel to widen or narrow the filter. You can also hold Alt and click and drag to zoom into a region. This is super helpful if you're trying to measure frequency while you're tuning a sound. You can right click to copy the frequency to the clipboard. Hold Alt and double click to reset. Number two. Did you know that SPAN has some convenient presets? You may have noticed that the low frequencies don't always have enough resolution. Use the low frequency inspection preset to increase the resolution so you can find your low frequency peaks a lot easier. Or if you want a smoother, less distracting display, for example, when mastering, you can select the stereo mastering preset to smooth out the display. You'll notice that you have two main spectrums here, one showing the average level and the other showing the max level, with each having a plot for the left and right channels. Number three. The correlation meter at the bottom right is very useful for identifying phase issues between your left and right channels. If the meter is reading close to one, it means that both channels are nearly in phase, and if you were to switch to mono, it will still sound good. However, if the meter is reading near negative one, it means that your channels are almost entirely out of phase and you have a serious problem. If your listener hears your track in mono, the left and right channels will cancel each other out and your track will disappear. Number four. As you might have noticed earlier, you can overlay multiple spectrums for a single track. One way to do this is to set the routing to mid-side stereo. You can now see two spectrums, one for the mid-channel, representing common signals to both left and right channels, and the other for the side channel, showing the difference between the left and right channels. You can switch between the two by clicking the button next to the routing, or show both at the same time by setting the underlay to the other channel. If you go into the settings, you can change the appearance by pressing the Fill Display button. You can also add a second spectrum type if you'd like to show a different measurement, such as the maximum value in addition to the average measurement. Number five, if you upgrade to the paid version of SPAN called SPAN Plus, you'll get more features. The coolest feature is that you can now display the spectrum of multiple tracks on a single display. All you have to do is put SPAN on each track, set up the routing, and set the track colors. You can then see both tracks on the same plot, making it easier to see how they fit together and when instruments conflict with each other, like your kick and bass. You can do this on up to six tracks. As a bonus, here are a few other ways to improve the appearance of span. First, you can go into the settings and turn on anti-aliasing to smooth the appearance of your plot. Next, in the information and settings window, Check the large cursor readouts option. This will make the measurements on the main window extra large, making it much easier to read. This only works if you're using the newest version of SPAN, version 3.13, which was just released at the time I'm making this video. Finally, if you're not interested in the metering, you can maximize the spectrum by pushing the hide meters and stats button. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and if there's a tool you want to learn more about, let me know in the comments below.